Hey everyone, it's Sonny from Swan Bullion here, and we're looking at the three coin Dia de Muertos from the Germania Mint. Dia de Muertos, also known as El Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is a rare two day holiday for celebrating death and life. It is unlike any other holiday where mourning is exchanged for celebration. Calaveras, or skulls, are ubiquitous during Day of the Dead. The skulls are often drawn with a smile as to laugh at death itself. They take many forms such as sugar candies, clay decorations, and most memorable, face painting. While the most recognizable aspects of Day of the Dead are the representations of skulls and skeletons, the tradition that holds the most meaning is the ofrenda or offering. The ofrenda is what the whole celebration is about. It's a collection of offerings dedicated to the persons being honored. A brightly colored oil cloth covers the table and on top of that sits a collection of photographs and personal items of the departed person. The lower portion of the altar is where the offerings are placed, from traditional Mexican cuisine to other items that represent the honored person's particular tastes. The offerings are believed to encourage visits from the land of the dead as the departed souls hear their prayers, smell their foods and join in the celebrations. The Germania Mint, in celebration of the upcoming Dia de Muertos, has created a three-coin set ennobling three of the Royal Canadian Mint's one-ounce silver bullion maple leaves with coloured designs. The three coins come in this display book. The front design mirrors the same design found on the coins inside. It's limited to 888 sets, with each set individually numbered on the back. Inside, we find a bit of information on the coins, as well as the coins themselves. I'll pull these out, we'll have a look at each one. On the reverse of each coin is a celebrant in the street dressed up for the Dia de Muertos inspired by the character La Catrina by Jose Guadalupe Posada, with their faces painted into a calvera. The only inscription that remains is a coloured Canada inscription on the top of each coin. The obverse of each coin features the raw silver effigy of Queen Elizabeth II over a colourful background full of calvera, hearts and flor de muerto, marigolds also known as the flower of the dead. They are believed to attract the souls of the dead earthbound with their bright colours and scent and are usually found adorning the ofrenda. The obverse subscriptions are all covered by the design, with the coins no longer usable as legal tender. We try to capture the glow-in-the-dark feature of these coins, but it's just not bright enough to show up on camera. So I'll just show you guys some images on screen so you can see the transformation of each coin. I'm actually interested to know what you guys think about putting the Mexican Dia de Muertos on a Canadian maple. Is it strange or do you like the crossover? Let us know down below. If you'd like to pick one of these up, they'll be linked in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.